My name is Nana, and today we're playing some more Sims 3 Seasons. Me and Savannah are out quite early, actually. I mean, it's it's not even 9 a.m. yet, and the two of them have come to Newcrest and uh, have decided to enjoy some breakfast together. Currently raining outside, it's thundering, so it's it's definitely the weather for um, some mood swings. Today, the girls are going on wedding dresses, which I think will be really fun. And um, Cassie's getting married in the fall, which is in a few weeks, and Savannah hasn't actually like set a date yet or anything. Cassie's having some coffee. Looks like um, Savannah's having some tea. I had to kind of calm herself down because she's definitely not feeling herself all the best. Uh, she also has a headache today, which doesn't help, of course. I guess it's just maybe the stress for the wedding or something. I don't really know. They're, dude, you're in my way. Whoa. Dad is coming in town. I said, Savannah feels really, really insecure about this. That's dad, is this guy's and he thinks that savannah is doing something in the business as well because she said that she wasn't doing that right because she didn't want to disappoint her daddy she's not doing anything she's trying to become famous and sadly it's just not working for her it could work but she also realized that now you know she's kind of running out of money and she can't afford her place anymore and she saw that how she knew that she wanted to stay there forever and now that she has to move out is it's quite brutal i guess and that's actually not um in any jobs currently because as cassie she's been trying to find work um you know trying to make her dreams come true which is you know singing for cassie and getting famous for savannah and because of this, her income has gone dramatically. Now she got, she was able to afford this place because of her fans. They gifted her so much stuff. We sold all of that. We got her place, but now the money's running out, and Savannah's kind of clueless. I also can't, you know, pretend to be working with my dad when that's not true either because she definitely can't continue to lie to her dad that she's doing a job that she's not doing. So she has to come clean about that. Which she's not looking forward to, but she has no other choice. And she really does want to have her own life. And I know that as soon as she says to her dad, Hey, well, Cassie must have been hungry. Um, I know that as soon as she says, Hey, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm i not doing anything. I want to be famous. I can't afford my apartment. Things like that. Then her dad is probably going to act tell her that he will fund her apartment. It's a really uncomfortable situation, let's be honest, because her dad is the type of dad that wants his little princess to have everything so because of that he would love to fund her entire apartment like he did for them at first but then savannah is like i want to grow up dad i want to make my own money but now i'm like stuck between needing my dad's help again or possibly moving out and i just a brandley land grab was adopted by the okay lillian land grab okay okay so the land grabs adopted some children okay okay <laughs> okay so now yeah it's hard to, it's a tough decision um what to do like do we come clean do we not come clean but i think we both agree that we just have to come clean and tell them hey we want to be independent and we're not working at this place that you're telling me that i'm working at or i'm not working in the business career dad i don't want to i want to be famous but i don't want your help i want to be independent and realistically we will have to go and get you know we will have to go and get a new job we have to move out because we definitely can't afford it we can't afford to stay here so moving out is definitely something we have to do um but they've been talking and i think they do agree that they both want to give this fame thing another chance and they are definitely contemplating on moving together one last time to another small apartment so that the both of them can focus on you know, their career, their love, their, you know, their dream. We're going to have to move in, get a new place, and then hopefully start our careers in a different town. And then once we've accomplished what we wanted, we're going to come back, which may sound a little brutal. I mean, you're going to leave your boyfriends to follow your dream, but you know what? Marriage is not supposed to be holding you back. And um, I think that if she chose for marriage and to choose to stay with Salem, she would never be able to reach her goals because there's just no goals to be reached in this town, simply as it is. And like Savannah, she can't make her dreams come true in the town as well. It's just too small. She needs to be in a place where there is more. There's more dreams and there's more people trying to change their dreams. So there's more more opportunities, maybe. Okay, I'm talking too much about the subject, definitely. But um, let's go ahead and get into this boutique so the girls have arrived at this little boutique and you might be like oh my god like who could possibly own such a lovely lovely place well surprise surprise this is actually miko ojo's 
flipping store or boutique, whatever you want to call it. So Miko, because she's never been married and she never wants to get married, she's kind of over a man and I can't imagine she has three kids and she has to raise them herself, you know, we almost got pregnant by the same guy. I guess I can understand why we're done with a man and she doesn't want to get married ever again and she's a little older than we are so i guess you know she has different wishes in her heart she's definitely more family orientated while we are more you know orientated on them um, some other other stuff i suppose <laughs> but um who could have known like when i found out that she had this boutique i was like amazed because you know, would have never known that miko owns such a place because miko never really speaks about these things but perhaps she was keeping it a secret paolo wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute um one second let's get her over here so where is she let's get miko over here is that paolo oh my god it's paolo paolo is here to buy what are the odds oh my god paolo you're kind of ruining the dream you're not supposed to see the girl in the dress man <laughs> he's really really i did not expect this i did not expect pa then i probably made it clear that she's not going to get married anytime soon she wants to wait a little longer she wants to have a really big wedding so she wants to save up for it really seems to like that that is a pretty dress that is a pretty dress but i'm kind of thinking that must be more for savannah but what about this one let's let's try this on Ooh, look at that let's show this off to savannah she you know what she likes what, what kind of things does she love see oh i told you she would love that wedding dress oh look at that i love it i love that paulo you better not look behind you that's bad luck for the wedding i love that on her that looks absolutely amazing now i think um let's see which one uh we really like so let's change us into oh let's get i think this one might look really nice on her so let's try that on Oh, did we just spawn to the other side? Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's some slick, slick sliding that we're doing there. I think this is, this is perfect for Cassie. Oh my god, I love it. Look at this. Almost done. Oh my god, let's check ourselves out of the mirror. Is there a mirror here? Yeah, there is. There's one over here. Let's kind of, you know, check ourselves out. Damn, we look good, do we not? It's definitely strange to see ourselves in a dress like this because we're definitely not used to this. We're not used to, you know, looking so feminine, maybe? Savannah, do you really think- Savannah, what is- Savannah, this is not the place to start playing the- Okay, you know what? Okay. <laughs> Me? Oh, wait, is she buying my dress? Oh, no, she better not be buying my dress. Excuse me, I was here first. I was here first. She's trying to purchase my dress, isn't she? Are you kidding me? Miko, I didn't know you had a wedding place like this. Not sure why she's making music, but that's, you know, beyond my comprehension, apparently. I guess she's ringing up the dress for Savannah. That's so cute. Oh my god, that is a perfect dress for her. And then I want to give her a hug because her dresses are so pretty. They're so pretty. They're so cute. I'm absolutely in love. And I can't wait to get married. <gasps> but, 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 but. They, she bought my dress oh no oh no oh no cassie has gone to get her nails done and to get um excuse me apparently savannah really wants to go hang out with salem which that's quite odd um I wonder why. Salem has um, politely texted her back and said, Hey, I uh, I don't think hanging out together is a good thing. Like, I know we're friends and all that, but I feel uncomfortable hanging out with my, you know, my fiance's best friend. Salem is really innocent and he really does not like to hang out with, like, people and give the wrong ideas. He's just so innocent and so cute almost. Like, he's just worried, like, what, what could possibly be happening. Like, he... He worries way too much about the simplest things, but he's like, I'm not going to hang out with, you know, I'm not going to hang out and do anything like that. I, I, I don't feel comfortable. I just don't feel comfortable. I just, I just don't. I'm really feeling a little bit um, tired today. I guess he had a long working day. Definitely would be able to handle himself. He's a very lonesome person, just like Cassie. And I think that even though they're in a relationship, he will respect Cassie's wishes. Oh, it's not like she's going to stay away forever. She's just going to go away for a couple months to make her dreams come true and then probably come back home, right? Because could, what else could happen? Salem is not really one that particularly likes to be in the center of attention. He doesn't like it at all, so... 
Savannah, um, or not Savannah, Cassie did think about, um, you know, like, do I, do I bring them along? Do we bring our boyfriends along? That was the topic, you know, that was the subject uh, between the two, but Cassie kind of realized that Salem is not the type to be in the spotlights he gets really uncomfortable he doesn't want it and even cassie feels a little uncomfortable but her love for singing is so big that it kind of overshadows that pops like cassie hasn't told me anything she hasn't been home yet she's been with you all day and you know it's like haha yeah yeah that's true i kind of forgot about that i'm about to get my nails done but um i wanted to text you and to see i want to text you but call you and see if perhaps you know tonight you want to come out um with me and maybe in paulo not just the two of us but you know salem was like oh my god savannah wants to hang out with me alone <laughs> what do i do uh, he kind of freaked out you know he's just like that he's a, he's a bit socially awkward so he freaked out thinking oh my god savannah wants to date with me oh my god um but i was definitely not like that she wanted to ask salem if paulo could stay at their place until they're back and she has an apartment because once she moves out salem not Salem. There's so many Sims names and I can't ever get them right. Paulo is going to be homeless unless Paulo moves back in with his mates or anything else. But why not move in with Salem? The two of them can just kind of, you know, keep checks together. I mean, there is probably, probably we need like an extra bed or something. We could just put a bed somewhere in the hall. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't need to be, you know, doesn't need to be anything like that. But oh, looks like Cassie's done um love this color so she got her she got her nails done oh my gosh look at look at that I'll, oh oh i love that let me take some pictures she got her nails done and um i think she had a massage as well like just some, like, like a nice little pamper day um i guess she's going straight to bed cassie cassie come back salem is like cassie come back i need to talk to you about something savannah called me la, 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 and i think this is a time a perfect time where oh a cookie might as well eat that right it's the perfect time for us to um kind of talk about what happened today and i don't want to leave that until tomorrow because there's not a lot of days left i think until the wedding yeah we have about two weeks two weeks left um for you know the wedding so i really want to you know kind of get everything over with because once fall hit you know once we're married i think that's kind of the limit for us to then just make the big move big, make the big change if we dare do it you know anyway oh there's a little smooth um but i think definitely think that like, we shouldn't wait longer than the wedding because getting married before we leave i think is really high on our list that's what we really want to do so we know everything is set and all that i love how she's i love how she's carrying her hands right now she's like i got my nails did I got them done, bro. Look at them. They look cute, though. They look really cute. I like how she's just carrying her hands, like, oh, look at my nails, Salem. Look at my nails. You gonna say anything? You gonna say anything, Salem? You gonna say anything, Salem? <laughs> uh, kind of stress them out. It looks like they got an argument, which was not planned at all. Um, I guess it happens, and <laughs> Betty's just like, Mama, do you see me, Mama? Do you see me? Look, I'm making a noise. Please notice me, Mama. That's what he's all doing now a little bit. I think they're both kind of stressed for the wedding, and now they're arguing about stupid, stupid things. That's just what happens. Betty, could you, could you not do that? Like, could could you perhaps not do venue to get married? And like I said, Savannah wants to get married like a big, big wedding. And if she has problems, you know, funding her own house, which is only realistic because if you paid a house with money from your fans that you no longer have how exactly are you going to pay the bills now right because paulo definitely does not mock, mock uh, does not make enough money to support both of them so that's a problem and she's lied to herself and she's been living you know she's been living like free like for for a good few months for maybe even years and she kind of forgot that reality is a thing as well and that, that happens that happens so often with savannah she kind of forgets that life is a thing and that she gets carried away with everything but yeah you know what i'm saying I, th I think she's one of those people that forgets life is an actual thing and then she gets so caught up with everything that she's doing that she's in like oh wait wait I need to pay my bills too you know that's the kind of person savannah is about it we're just gonna go to sleep we're pretty pretty tired i am gonna thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episodes ciao